You prepare food in here. It's not very sanitary. I wanted to talk to you alone. I didn't just bring you here to help us stop DeVoe. An ulterior motive. How furtive and apropos. After all, why go through all the hassle of procuring me when Killer Frost could quite easily just ice blast those satellites down? Killer Frost is gone. I haven't been able to get her to appear ever since DeVoe used one of his powers on her. Remember last year when I came to you because Killer Frost was taking over? You fixed me. Hmm. My transmodular genetic splicer. I need to use that splicer again. Katie, one of the reasons why I was so willing to help you and your friends with your professor situation is because, well, quite literally, it also benefits me. But giving you my splicer, not as beneficial. What if I make you a deal? You give me the splicer, Killer Frost and I will do you one favor. Oh, that is a tempting offer. <laughs> but unfortunately, my splicer was stashed right alongside my additional shards. In your ransack storage unit. Okay. Wherever we find your shards, we should also find the splicer. Ding, ding, ding. So do we have a deal? You'll give me the splicer as soon as we recover it? I'll even tie a little bow on it. Ladies and gentlemen, hang on to your wigs in case. Here we go, Harry. Turn them. The guy who must be Cisco, express yourself. Yes, it's best you commence with uh, I feel statements. Mm. Ah, like I feel a yearning, or I feel aroused. Look, okay. how is this going to make me smarter than DeVoe? Hey, again with DeVoe. Why are you so hung up on his mama Luch? Uh, I think that DeVoe for you, this is a guy that has, uh, well, he's like a leech upon you. Sucking and sucking and sucking and sucking and sucking, and all you are left with is thou. I like that. Nature, red and tooth and claw. You know, they say to understand a man's actions, you gotta understand his heart. Oh, okay, question. How do you understand the heart of a deranged maniac? Now, the guy who must be Cisco makes a good point here. Let's all close our eyes and take a moment to imagine that we are all sociopaths trying to conquer the world. Oh, yeah. What is it? Oh, man, Harry. Go on, Ali. Put yourself in the vote shoes. Close your eyes, Harry. Now, what do you see? What do you smell? How do you feel? Dumb. Dumb. Hey, this is not making me any smarter. But aren't you smarter, Harry? You must channel your aggression into love. Wait, I feel you're mocking me. Oh, an I feel statement. Winner, winner. Oh, 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 oh. All right, all right, all right. Progress on that note. Wait, wait. We're not we're done here, are we? Yeah, yeah we're done. Yeah, we're done. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Nothing's feeny. Now, Harry, <laughs> you know what they say about all work and no play? At least no time for making whoopee. And there he goes. Okay, HB, come on. We're not done. We haven't done anything. No, no, mon frère. Uh, désolé, huh? <laughs> Parting such sweet sorrow, but I must bid you adieu, Harry from your soul. Adieu. Hey, Harry. Everything you need. You got it right in there. Remember, you're unbelievable. <sighs> Remote, remind me again. What, what's, what's another word for huge? Colossal. Colossal. Great, thank you. This was a colossal waste of time.